table how to add the data to the table how can i add the data to the table so go for your data manipulation language what does it says insert update delete insert will help you to add the row update will help you to modify the row and delete will help you to delete the row from the table so let's try to add it so now i would like to add the data to it insert let's say into this is a syntax see you need to understand these syntaxes okay there is no uh, once you practice five or six statements that's it you'll get it so insert into you need to pass the table name what is the table name we would like to insert the data student right so just add the student table and you need to specify the all the columns which you are inserting the data how many columns i have here five columns so for what columns i'm inserting the data student id and basically the student name and you call it as a course name and let's say the date of joining and then the fee whatever it is there and then this one so once you need to specify the table name and the list of columns for which you are inserting the data okay then you need to write values okay now you need to specify the value for each and everything okay insert into student id student name you specified it now you go about it how it will work is let's say student id let's say i want to pass it as a 100 100 is a number so whenever you are representing a number you don't need to specify the single quotes whenever you specify the character data or a date information you must enclose in the single quotes it's like suppose character data if if i have to keep the table name as karthik i mean student name as karthik i need to enclose in the single quotes if it is a date date of joining is let's say 18th may 2015 i need to specify something like this it's like dd iphone mon first three letters of the month and then yy this is a default date format in oracle whenever you're inserting a data we'll just follow like this okay default date format which we use so it's it'll go about something like this 18th may 2015 now i need to pass it let's say student name i need to pass the student name as let's say uh, gangadhar so student name is gangadhar and the course name let's say uh, the course they joined for tableau tableau is a course name because both are the strings that's why i'm enclosing in the single quotes okay and date of joining let's say this guy has actually joined on 19th may 2015 so just pass as a 19th may 15 and the fee let's say i would like to insert as 50026 pi c so this is i mean 15000 this one so it's a total okay it's we have defined as 6 comma 2 right so let's keep it as 9500.26 so now this is how you add it so i pass the first first value is student id student name is gangadhar and the course name is this one and the date of joining is this and then the fee is this so how how you count even the decimals also means after the decimal it will accept only two characters after the decimal point it will accept two characters so if you say that two six seven it will throw the error so now let me just try to pass this when i pass this oops, okay it just truncated that so it just truncated the value and it will store only the two digits okay yeah what does a number of 10 means what do you mean by number of 10 at max it will store 10 digits but i'm storing only three digits so it will allocate only three bytes of memory for it so that's how it works so when you try and execute in this it will actually give you the row it says that row is inserted that means row is added see whenever you insert the data in oracle database basically you need to save those changes or commit those changes so now i have added the data so let me commit it so commit is used to apply the changes permanently to the database so just use commit and then save it 
now data is committed that means it's permanently saved to the database now i cannot undo the change once you commit it you cannot undo the change or you cannot revert the changes okay now let's try to use this one basically um now let me try to execute this query so will i be able to see the data now in the student table yes right so you already done that so now this is what is the data you already passed it and you have a, a date of joining which is there and you have passed it as see always your date information will carry till the time also time minutes and seconds so it's actually we didn't add it a time that's why it is considered as a 12 a.m so always date information will contain this one so how to add one more record just the same way so all you need to do is just one by one row so let's say 100 so this time let's say issuer and this guy has actually joined for informatica so now let's say 20th may 2015 and the fees is let's say 10,000. i am not storing the decimals this time i'm just storing the complete 10,000 value so try to execute this okay now what is the error what is it showing value larger than specified allowed for this column which column is failing now can you tell me why it is throwing this error student id no informatica i defined the course as varchar 2 of 100 right so that's fine so what which value is failing fee column so if you see i've actually defined as 6 comma 2 already you allocated 2 for a decimals there are only four digits you have to enter but you are entering more than four digits that's what is a error let me just keep it as a 999 now and try to add it now the row is added that means there is a problem with my fee column so i can i need to commit it so what will happen if i use a rollback whatever the data that i have actually entered it will be reverted undo the change you have inserted a data it will be reverted if i use a rollback option so i'm using a rollback here if you observe so i've just used a rollback and now if i go and query my student table how many records will be there only one because i already rolled back this roll back you just reverted the change so this is how it will give you the data now let's say i want to insert and commit this time i'm executing one more time commit the data this time how many records two records will be there when you go and see the student table i'll have a two records which it is i just use the same thing right so first we inserted using a first insert statement we have inserted one record so using a second insert statement i have inserted one more so both are rollback i've done it and one more time i insert so first i have done a rollback again i have inserted it and then i have committed the data so this is how you use to add the data to the table so hmm not i mean not necessary but it will just block the two bytes of memory for it maximum you can have um, the before the decimal you can have only four digits not more no that's what i said like uh, for decimals it is already blocked two digits you have only four digits that's why it is throwing the error so this is how you can add the data now let's say you understand how to add the data let's try to add one more record okay so let's say this is white so i'm passing the same student id i can still pass it because you don't have any constraints as such uh, we'll understand what is a uh, what is a constraint and all for now i'm just inserting it just as a dummy value okay so let's say you have uh, this one and the course is hadoop and uh, today tomorrow they're joining i can just give that so the course fee is let's say 6500.02 so just try to execute this and commit the data commit you can also use by using this or 
you can also use f11 to commit it f11 to commit the data or you can use this tick mark so now committed the data how many records will be there total three records will be there now so which it will be there so this is how you can start uh, adding the data to a table now what did you understand you understand how to define a table and how to add the data to the table